We are following the very latest headlines on the coronavirus pandemic. I'm Marianne Cushy, and this is your morning update for Monday, April 6. The virus has now taken the lives of 19 people here in San Diego County. Health officials say the latest victim was a woman in her late 90s. As of the last update, there were more than 1,300 confirmed cases across the county. That's an increase of 117 over the previous tally. An employee at the San Diego County Emergency Operations Center has tested positive for coronavirus. A letter went out to employees who work there. A county spokesperson would not comment on the specific case, but tells us people who have close contact with any county employee who does test positive are contacted and given specific instructions on what to do. Paid administrative leave for many city workers ends today. These city employees will soon start different jobs. The mayor's office says the new temporary roles will help support the city during this crisis, meaning if you're essential, you keep going to work. If you can telecommute, you work from home. But other employees with closed workplaces like librarians can volunteer to be reassigned and trained for new duties around the city. Well, more beds are being added at Palomar Medical Center in Escondido exclusively for patients who have the coronavirus. Local and federal leaders are expecting a significant surge in the amount of patients over the next few weeks. Some of the last few beaches that were still open in the San Diego area are now officially closed. Coronado city leaders had previously decided to close the beach only on the weekends and then leave them open for walkers or joggers during the week. But now they've decided to join other local and state leaders in closing beaches altogether every day of the week. The California State Parks Department has also decided to close several beaches in San Diego County. Torrey Pines, Cardiff, Carlsbad, San Alejo and Silver Strand State Beaches all closed over the weekend. They were previously open as long as visitors were properly social distancing. We will continue to keep you up to date with the very latest here on NBC7.com throughout the day. Plus, we will continue to bring you the positive stories as well of how the community is all coming together while staying apart.